Today alone, dozens of drivers ticketed for cutting through neighborhoods in West Bloomfield. Yep. All to avoid all that construction that's going on at Maple and Middle Belt. Germont Terry is there live. Uh, drivers learning a pretty costly lesson, though, Germont. It is a costly lesson for sure, Devin. You know, we've all been in that situation where we come across a road only to determine that the road is closed and you try to figure out what are you going to do. Well, tonight, West Bloomfield Police, they are trying to send a very clear message. If you see a sign like this reading, no through traffic, it means just that. When the road closed signs go up, frustration amongst drivers flare up, causing backups, leaving neighbors fed up, and you get this. It's just a minor detour while the construction's going on. No one's trying to like run through your neighborhood going no, super I fast, but to, I, to I, purposely make it worse doesn't make any sense. Well, because you know what ha you know what's happening is people are zooming through here. Vivian Bell Castro sounds off with a driver cutting through her subdivision just 24 hours after Maple near Meadow Belt shut down. Take a look at the neighborhood streets. This is ridiculous. All these vehicles looking for new routes. The residential streets of Rutledge Park and Deerfield Village are where the traffic is going. When you got hundreds of cars coming through your neighborhood, it's not fun. Nor is it legal, according to West Bloomfield Police. Well, in this circumstance where we've had it posted by the Road Commission, it is illegal to cut through those subdivisions. Tuesday alone, more than 60 drivers, each slapped with $125 tickets, all because they disobeyed the no through traffic sign and thought like this guy. Middle Belt is closed, and so there's a huge volume of traffic that needs to find some way through. So using these other small roads as like little arteries to get to other areas just makes sense. We just don't take any uh, enjoyment of going out and writing tickets. Uh, we absolutely do not, but uh, there's a problem. We recognize it, and we're going to go take enforcement action. Now, one thing that may be causing all the drama, you know, many people are relying on their GPSs. And according to West Bloomfield Police, tonight they're trying to get in contact with Google and all of these services to maybe not divert the traffic through these areas. And that could be another way to prevent people from not paying attention to the sign. But they are saying the signs are up, the tickets are $125, and try to avoid the area altogether. Reporting live in West Bloomfield, Jermont Terry, Local 4.